Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Many of you know that in addition to being a pastor here at St. Luke's, I've been a full-time firefighter for almost two decades. I have to admit that it's a really cool job, even in trying times such as these. I've learned a lot over the years, and as a lieutenant, I'm responsible to make a lot more decisions than I did as a brand new firefighter. There has been tons of growth over the course of the years. At the beginning, I had to rely on my lieutenant for nearly everything. I had learned how to use the tools in fire school, but the wins and the wares and the whys only come with experience. I looked to my lieutenant. He knew and he taught me. In my downtime, I read the books and practiced with the tools and I asked questions. Now, as I creep up towards 20 years in the fire service, I get asked those same questions by the new firefighters and I get to share the knowledge and experience that I've gained over the course of the years. I don't know it all, but I certainly have grown through the years. Even so, I have new questions to ask my battalion chief even to this day. When you don't have all the answers, when you don't feel like you're able to know enough to really wrap your mind around a situation, it's easy to worry. I know that I did my fair share of that as a young firefighter, but I studied manuals and I asked questions. And brothers and sisters in Christ, our faith is much like this. Today, you might be worried about a bunch of different things. You might feel like the answers just aren't there. But I want to tell you that the answers are there. We have access to our God through the pages of the Bible. I mean, this thing is full, chocked full of comforting answers to the questions that we have. And some pretty amazing events throughout history too. Also, because of what Christ did for us by shedding his blood on the cross and dying for us, we have the ability to come to God in prayer. He wants to hear from us. He wants us to bring our concerns to him. This doesn't mean that you'll never worry again. I mean, even us pastors worry about stuff. But God does promise to give us his peace that passes all human understanding in the midst of everything that's going on in our lives. It's amazing to me how a worry in my life can be transformed by looking to God's word and by going to him in prayer. And now, in a word of scripture from Paul's letter to the Philippians, may the peace of God, which transcends all of our understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus to life everlasting. Amen.